So in this demo, we are going to take a look at how we can organize our layers in our viewports to create the different views that we wanna, want to see. Uh, in AutoCAD, we draw all of the plan information on one plan, so it's all on top of each other, and uh, if you have all your layers on, it's kind of a, a jumbled mess. So we wanna figure out kind of how do we sort through those and create the view so we're not constantly freezing and thaw thawing layers in order to plot the different views, because invariably you're going to leave one off or leave one on that you didn't want. So what we're gonna do, uh, as you can see, I'm right now I'm in model space and I have a whole bunch of layers on. I've got floor plan layers, I've got power signal layers, I've got ceiling layers, uh, so I've got a lot going on here. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna go into paper space and that's not the one I want. Let's go to this one. Okay, so I've created two viewports here and currently the viewports are showing all of the layers. And we wanna change that. We wanna create a floor plan over here and a reflected ceiling plan over here. So we wanna use viewport layer controls to determine what layers will be thawed and frozen in specific viewports. And then you can set it up once. You may have to adjust if you add a layer you know, down the road, but for the most part, you can set it once and forget it. You can just then go in and plot when you need to. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to find the edge of the viewport. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on that. And what it's gonna do is it's going to open a view into the, the model space of that viewport. So you can zoom without messing up your viewport. You can uh, do all sorts of things, which is really handy. Um, but what we wanna look at is the layers. So we are going to go to the Home tab, look in the Layers area, and click on this Layers Property button. Now the the column that we want to look at is VP freeze. And what we're going to do is, this is our floor plan, so we want to go through and look for our ceiling layers, and we're going to freeze those in this column. So this, these will freeze them only in that viewport. So I'm going to just kind of start picking them here. And going down here. This is the mid light layer. as well. Okay, so let me close my layer manager and kind of see where we're at. It's looking pretty good. Um, and that's the other nice thing. You can then kind of preview what you've done here. So it looks like I've, I've frozen the layers that I need to freeze. Well, let me see if I've got, looks like I've got some extra dimensions. So let me go back in there for a second and see if I've got a dimension layer that I missed. There it is. Okay, so now let me close that. That's better. And then when I'm ready to go back um, into paper space, I've made all the adjustments I want to make, I'm just going to double click up here in the blue area and it's going to bring me back into paper space. And now you can see, let me zoom in here a little bit, this view has changed, this view has not, because uh, we've frozen the, the layers only in this viewport. And if I go back out into model space, you can see all my layers are still on, so it doesn't affect model space, it only affects what's happening in that specific viewport. So let's go back in here and let's set up our reflected ceiling plan. So now I'm gonna click on the edge of the viewport for the ceiling plan, and it's gonna take me back into this view. I'm gonna open the layer properties again, and this time I'm going to freeze all of my floor layers, once again in this VP freeze column. So let's see, no floor. handrails, light ends, levels, overheads, patterns. I'm gonna freeze my stair layer, or er, my uh, furniture layer, and you'll notice I can even, I can even freeze my current layer, because my furniture layer is my current layer. I'm gonna freeze that in this viewport. And again, I wanna go down and get that um, power layer. And let's close it and kind of see where we're at. Okay, that's looking pretty good, looking like a uh, reflected ceiling plan. So I think I got all the layers that time. So again, I'm gonna click on this blue area here. And you can see that I now have two different views of my plan. And you know, now that I've set these up, unless I add another layer here in uh, model space, you know, let's say I have to add a, a layer for, um, you know, another power layer or something like that, then I may have to go back in and adjust 
and freeze that new layer in these viewports. But for the most part, they're set up, they're ready to go, you can just go in and plot them, and you don't have to freeze and thaw to create those views. So the viewport layer controls are a really good tool to understand. It's, they're very key to um, how we draw in AutoCAD because we draw right on top of everything.